All right, it's been a hot minute since I've done an Arby's review, but they just launched like five or six items involving the Euro. They got the Euro, some Euro salads, but what I'm doing is the Euro loaded curly fries. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Now, like I said in the intro, I am returning to Arby's. They just launched, like, I don't know, four or five uh, new products, all involving the Euro or gyro, or hero, however you pronounce it. I pronounce it Euro, but this is the Euro Loaded Curly Fries. Check it out. You're gonna have some tzatziki sauce. There should be tomatoes on there. I am not seeing the tomatoes. I did not ask them to take them off. There is the Euro meat and the curly fries. It also states that there should be some red onions and some Euro seasoning. So. Let's kind of investigate, see if there is any of that other stuff on here. I do not see tomatoes, and I do not see red onions. <sighs> All right, so what I have here is curly fries, tzatziki sauce, and gyro meat. So we're gonna have to go with uh, what we got here, and I will say three, oh no, train. And it's going oh so slow. You should see this thing. It's just like putzing along. Shout out every grandma uh, using that term. But uh, so we're going to try to get through this even with the train. But I was just about to say this was $3.99. They did put the tomatoes on it. They did not put uh, the onions on it. I don't know if there's any seasoning, but I'm taking one of these off. Take a look at there. It looks kind of anemic. And uh, three pieces of the Euro meat. Uh, right off the bat, I'm so disappointed in this. So we're just gonna get into this. Train's going. I'm missing two of the toppings on this bad boy, but check it out right there. All right, wish me luck. Train, a lot of stuff happening. What's next? The lady's gonna come out, start doing her laundry. Not her laundry. The Euro loaded, no, not loaded, not even close to being loaded, uh, curly fries. Here we go. All right, so I will say after the first bite, I am enjoying the uh, flavor of the tzatziki sauce. I do enjoy tzatziki sauce whenever I'm eating uh, Greek food. Like you know, we are missing the other two ingredients and the meat is just okay to me. It is a little dry, but we're gonna go in for one more bite. This is lackluster at best. The only thing saving this right now is the taste of the tzatziki sauce and the curly fries that are always a home run over at uh, Arby's. But check it out, one more bite. All right, so after two bites, that's it. Take a look. That's two bites. It is basically a bowl of curly fries, and uh, that's about it. Little tzatziki sauce, and there is uh, the one more piece of the Euro meat. This was disappointing. $4, so many other things to get at Arby's uh, that would blow this away for $4. I am really, really disappointed in this, so we are gonna give it a rating. On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning, don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of, ah, I'm going to give the Euro Loaded Curly Fries from Arby's a rating of. I'm giving these things a straight up 30 Five. This was basically just like eating uh, some curly fries with a little bit of tzatziki sauce thrown on top. The meat was okay, a little dry, decent tasting, had a nice uh, Euro meat flavor, but uh, dry. The other uh, accoutrement were missing. So there you go, another review in the books. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, Please let me know if you have tried this. It just came out a day or two ago. A day or two ago. Not gonna sing anymore. I'm not in the mood to sing. Arby's put me in that mood and it's gonna take a lot to get me out of it. I might have to go eat some of the uh, pizza potato chips that I reviewed earlier in the day for a video that's coming out at a later time just to save this. Oh wait, horsey sauce, Arby sauce? Will that save this? I doubt it.
So yeah, check that out. Just adding the horsey sauce and the Arby sauce, just putting that color on there, it just looks a thousand times better. So definitely we missed out on the tomatoes and the uh, onions that were going to give it a little more color, uh, not to mention some more flavor. So this might pick it up a notch. I'm not sure it's going to save it because basically I'm just putting Arby sauce and uh, horsey sauce on top of uh, curly fries. But what are you going to do? There you go. Love horsey sauce.